What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the courting with a bit of breaking news. Matt Gates has now withdrawn his name from the nomination for attorney general, which comes with a lot of emotions. Uh, you know, I had been extremely excited about what my, Matt Gates could potentially do in that role um, over the past several days. It was like the Kavanaugh hearings on steroids. He was enduring wild accusations, wild claims. He had his campaign hacked, all this kind of stuff. It was just, I think this is one that the, the deep state won. When the deep state won this one, they were successfully able to obtain some sort of compromise on him, which we're going to talk about, which has led to the statement that he just put out that we're going to also talk about. So let's get into it. Um, huge shout out, by the way. Real quick, just released our winter flavors over on coffeebrandcoffee.com, my coffee company. I worked real hard on these flavors. I think you're really going to love them. Sugar plum and gingerbread. Promo code winter sale to save 10%. And while you're there, make sure you pre order your 12 days of coffee and more, which features some of our most popular coffee blends, as well as real cacao cocoa and some of our most popular sweet treats. Pre order it now. They start shipping later this week. So you'll be able to have it um, early December or maybe even before December starts in some cases, depending on where you live. Now, Matt Gates has put out this statement. I had excellent meetings with senators yesterday. I appreciate their thoughtful feedback and the incredible support of so many. While the momentum was strong, it was clear that my confirmation was unfairly becoming a distraction to the critical work of the Trump-Vance uh, transition. There is no time to waste on needlessly protracted transition, or I'm sorry, Washington scuffle. Thus, I'll be withdrawing my name from consideration to serve as attorney general. Trump's Department of Justice must be a place, must be in place and ready on day one. I remain fully committed uh, to see that Donald Trump is the most successful president in history. I will forever be honored that President Trump nomination, uh, that he nominated me to lead the Department of Justice, and I'm certain he will save America. Now, what what does this mean? Because, you know, Matt Gates had withdrawn his seat. Well, I think DeSantis can just put him right back into place as a senator. Uh, I think this would be a good faith move by Ron DeSantis. You know, he's been pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, um, well, why are you withdrawing? Are the allegations true? Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't mean that the allegations are true. Because we know it's not what you know. It's, you know. it's not what you can prove. It's what people think. This was just yesterday, um, or a few days ago. A hacker accesses sealed testimony. The hacker is probably the United States government. Uh, sealed testimony, hacked, accessed sealed testimony of a woman claiming that Matt Gates had hooked up with her when she wasn't old enough. The file, which was hacked on Monday, included testimony of the woman who claims that they hooked up when she was 17 back in 2017. Now, we don't know if this is a fact that he knew. Obviously, if they're a borderline or a question, you should probably be asking. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. And the testimony of a second woman who said that she had witnessed the encounter, a, soul, a source told NBC News. Now, this is exactly what they did to uh, Kavanaugh with Blase Ford or whatever. Oh, I suddenly vividly remember this terrible thing that happened to me 75 years ago in great detail. Oh, by the way, here's a GoFundMe where you can donate money to me trying to uh, derail a Republican Supreme Court judge. But the file included this testimony. Attorney John Clune, who represents the woman making this claim, said we were informed last night by another law enforcement that the unauthorized user had shared the file with a number of confidential documents. The Justice Department investigated Gates, and in a case involving the hookup, he has always denied these claims um, and has never been charged criminally. We saw The View have to issue kind of this groveling apology uh, just the other day. Because of this, uh, there, there's never any charges filed. There's never any of the. So I'm assuming there was no evidence. The file was downloaded 
from a secure link by a person using the name Atlam Beasley, the source said. It includes other related documentation that is under seal, and the hack hacker accessed hundreds of pages. Of course, the government will say this was Iran, almost certainly. It obviously was not. This was the Democrat deep state, in my opinion, uh, making sure that these documents got leaked. Somebody probably told Matt Gates, hey, if you don't step down, we're going to leak this information. And uh, he had no choice. You know, even if it's just the accusation, that's the world we live in, fair or unfair, the accusation is enough to completely sink you. And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, it's not immediately clear whether any of the hacked information had been made public or whether law enforcement was investing. Well, some of it did get made public uh, because we saw this. Um, wait, where is this? Here. Gates sent over $10,000 in Venmo payments to two women who testified in the House probe record suggests. House investigators also obtained a $750 check from Matt Gates. Matt Gates is a pretty good looking guy. I don't know, you know, who he's paying here for hookups, car deductible, gift, reimbursement, tickets. I mean, this doesn't prove anything. It doesn't look good. The Venmo records show, I'm assuming this was from, you know, because conveniently he got hacked, that between July 2017 and January 2019, Gates, who was first elected in 2016, allegedly made 27 Venmo payments totaling $10,224 to the two witnesses who were over the age of 18 at the time. The payments with sources say were displayed during closed door testimony ranged from $100 to $700. This could have been a girlfriend that he had. It could have been his little side piece. That does not indicate that there was anything untoward there. I guess I don't know if he was married at the time, but I mean, this is the deep state, you know, extinguishing him. That's what happened. Justice Department spent years probing the misconduct allegations against Gates, as well as allegations of obstruction of justice, before informing Gates last year that they, in fact, would not be bringing charges. Gates had long denied any wrongdoing related to the claims investigated during the Congressional Justice Department probes. The Justice Department received access to roughly every financial transaction Matt Gates ever made and came to the conclusion that he committed no crime. Trump transition spokesperson Alex Pfeffer said in the response to ABC News reporting, these leaks are meant to undermine the mandate from the people to reform the Justice Department. Yeah, I'd probably say that. I, I probably I would probably agree with that. To be honest with you. I probably would. I, I probably would agree with that. These are baseless allegations in, uh, intended to derail the Trump administration. Descriptions in the, quote, note section for some of the payments from Gates include a gift, car deductible, cartridges and refreshments. Others included travel. At least one listed a payment for a flight on the phase on the phrase extra for you. Plus extra for you. That flight payment appears to align with the September 2018 trip to the Bahamas which ABC News previously reported was a part of the Justice Department's first reason for investigating Gates. I, you know, I don't know. It's difficult to say. You know, maybe these things were true. Maybe they weren't. But the ultimate, you know, these were many years ago and probably really have no uh, bearing on whether or not uh, he could do his job well as Attorney General. But I think the heat just got turned up too high and he didn't have any choice. You know, what other kind of compromise was in those hacked documents that were probably hacked by the deep state right here in the United States? My guess is bad stuff. Stuff that maybe wouldn't be illegal, but would make him look bad. I don't know. Does stepping down, removing yourself from that position, does that, you know, this sucks. There's really no other way to uh, to say it. Look, if these things are true, why didn't they bring charges? You know, why did he not get, uh, you know, charged in the meantime? 
years of investigation provided no wrongdoing, no evidence of any wrongdoing. So again, I don't know uh, what you know what is going on. Uh, this sucks for Trump. This sucks for um, you know people who are a fan of Matt Gates's um, kind of loyalty around Trump. But I guess we'll have to wait and see now. We'll have to see, wait and see how DeSantis treats this. Um, see if he is willing to give him a spot back in the Senate. The liberals will see this as a massive victory, I suppose. Um, retake your seat in Congress. We need you, Matt. You're still technically a representative elect. Yeah, maybe he runs for governor. I don't know. I don't think we've seen the last of him. Uh, this is the type of thing that's probably going to follow him around forever. So hopefully either he just releases it all, puts it all out on the table or, um, you know, or fights against this because, uh, this is a bummer. I don't really know any other way to say it again. If the charges were true, why hasn't he been charged? Why hasn't he been, you know, convicted? Why has he had not had a trial? This is just deep state government doing deep state government things. I hope you're informed by this video. If you were, please do leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.